What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're taking a look at BenQ's GR10 USB 4 mobile dock. This is intended for Steam Deck and other handhelds, but also can use just as a hub itself. I've been using this for a few months, and unfortunately I had an issue with a hard drive a couple of months ago, which put me about three months behind on this review, and I really had to just kind of redo some things so I could talk about this, and rather than cancel, we decided to still get a video out on it, which I'm glad we did because I've been using this dock a lot. All right, so like I said, this is the BenQ GR10 dock. And what I like about this dock is it's worked just really well with all of my different handheld devices, much more consistently than a lot of the other docks that I've tried and used with different devices where it's not always that consistent or certain features don't work properly. Now, as far as unboxing this thing, there isn't a lot to go through here. You get the dock itself with the cable, which also hides itself underneath the dock there and a little bit of paperwork inside, nothing major. But I really like the design of this. The materials are great. I like how it can fold to be a dock or just a hub and the wire uh, storage underneath is a nice touch too if you're not having to have that out or use it, you're transporting it, whatever the case may be. It at least is a little better than just leaving it hanging there. So a little thought in there. And this fold out part, for the stand for the docking part is great and does fit a lot of devices though not all of them we are going to take a closer look at that as well but i haven't had any problem with the hinging or any of that working here it's been great and again i've been using this thing for about three months now you got hdmi 2.1 support as well usb port lan extra usb c port and power in the overall materials and feel of the device are great it looks nice and again it's held up well at least for the three months or so that i've been able to use it here Maybe that's one positive of losing all of my original review footage and redoing things later on is I've got to use the device even longer and haven't really had any issues with it or anything I could really complain about. I do wish more devices fit into it, which we can talk about more and a couple of other things, but ultimately it works as advertised. I haven't had any issues with 4K support, HDR, or any of that. Now over on their website, you can catch a lot more information about this, up to 4K 120 hertz gameplay, which of course you're not necessarily pulling off with today's handhelds or the Steam Deck, but you are kind of future proof here too, as it does have a lot of capability with that HDMI 2.1. Now you're also able to use other devices besides handhelds, of course, like your phone, your tablet, your laptop, which I've done a bit as well. They list some handhelds here like the ROG Ally, the original MSI Claw Legion Go all fitting, which they do, but we'll take a look at some that don't as well. If you want to buy this, you can get it direct from their website for $109 currently or their official Amazon site for $109. I'll have some links in the description if you're interested in grabbing it. Now, as far as the fit, yes, of course, the Steam Deck, as advertised, fits very nicely in the dock, and I haven't had any issues there with that one. And ultimately, even though you can't play games at 4K 120, as you'll see on my TV later, it does pick it up and is able to output 4K 120 hertz to my OLED TV. Now, the MSI Claw 8 that I have here is a little too thick, much like the ROG Ally X, so I can't really get it to fit very well. If I really work at it, I can get it a little bit, but it's really not worth it. So for this, it's pretty much just fold up the dock part of it and just use it as a hub. And I'll show me using that on an external monitor here in just a little bit too. But ultimately it works fine. At least you do have that versatility. And I do like the ability to fold away the dock part. The original ROG Ally though, as advertised, fits just fine in the dock. And I haven't had any problem with that device either and all the features working properly. So just like they say, no problem with the ROG Ally fitting in there. Now the next one is the ROG Ally X though, and just like the MSI Claw 8, it's a little too thick to be able to put in that stand. So that's going to be one of the complaints that I have. We'll talk a little bit about this as I do wish we had a way to fit more of these, but it's okay and it works really nice for what fits in there and it can still be a great hub. Legion Go, as you see here, also fits just fine in this thing and doesn't really have any problem. So pop off your controllers, dock it if you want. You've got a nice little setup here, mouse, keyboard, whatever you want set up there. Now on the external monitor, we'll start here with the Steam Deck. And I just took a look at a couple of things here. Again, kind of had to redo everything here, but input latency, no real issues with this dock. I have had some docks kind of really slow me down, but even in games where I have to dodge or do certain things on time, really didn't have any problems. I've just got this hooked up to the HDMI 2.1 with a power supply connected there and then over to the Steam Deck and then to my external OLED monitor. And it's able to pick up that 1800p that we have here right now or I could run it at 1600p. I have used some docks in the past that would give me some kind of flicker or pixelation issues for whatever the reason when running the HDMI out. 
I can say with all the devices I've tried with this one and different monitors and my TV, I haven't had any of that happen, which has been nice. And also when it comes to, again, like gameplay, input latency, timing, that kind of thing, other than my own issues, uh, no real problems there. Again, I have had some docs add some input latency for whatever the reason, and I haven't had any issue with that one here. Getting into other games that might be a little bit more fast paced, easy to run here, no issues as well playing here on the dock through the Steam Deck. And we'll take a look at this doing the same thing over on the TV. But yeah, I mean, I haven't had any issue with really anything as far as feature related. Again, I wish we could fit more devices in here, maybe a wider stand with some inserts that you could choose and snap in there, maybe to fit more devices. But again, as you see here, you could just use it as a hub. So I have my MSI Claw 8 here, and then I've got that folded up with the same connection as I had over on my Steam Deck. And it worked great here. It may not look as nice where you have it set up or it might not be quite as convenient, uh, but it still works just fine as a hub this way to be able to dock up to something and play, or if you want to get some work done, do mouse and keyboard. I pretty much concentrate on the gaming stuff here usually, but pretty much do anything that you need to here that way. So you're still docking it, but it's just not using the stand, using it more like a hub. And you would do the same thing if you wanted to use this thing with your laptop. It works great for that or anything else. Now let's jump over to my TV. This is an LG OLED with 4K 120Hz HDMI 2.1 support. And if we go into the settings of the Steam Deck, we'll go to display. We'll turn off the automatic just so I can take a look here. And it is uh, defaulting to 4K 60, which is fine. Uh, this kind of output's really gonna take a lot of power from the Steam Deck, uh, but we can do 4K 120 there. So it does pick up that fine. And even though I'm not using HDR at the moment, I haven't had any problems with that either. It's been fine and worked fine there. So yeah, all working great on the TV here. Games feel responsive, just like the external monitor I was on. Image quality is good considering what it is here. But as we'll look at here in a minute, if you're outputting 4K with the Steam Deck, it does take away from your game performance quite a bit. To be able to output that resolution, even if you're playing a game at 720p or 1080p or something, it is going to take more of a hit. So something like uh, Expedition 33 might be running in the 20s, upper 20s, low 30s, when it really should be running in the 40s or 50s because of that 4K output. If I go to something like 1080p 120 though, same game settings, we go up to 40s and 50s like we should be here. So we're not stressing the GPU near as much with that output. So it's something to remember that even though this dock is capable and does allow that 4K 120 output from a device like the Steam Deck, depending on the power you have and what game you're playing, it can really affect your performance. But yeah, ultimately, I didn't have any real problems or complaints with this dock. I've used it for about three months. It's worked great for all the different devices, and it fit the Legion Go, the Steam Deck, and the original Ally just fine, and it didn't fit the MSI Claw 8 or the ROG Ally X. My only main complaint is I wish the wire that was on it that connects to your device maybe was a little bit more flexible. It's very stiff, so as you're plugging it in and turning it and twisting it, sometimes it's a little bit uh, difficult, but no big deal. It just seemed like a bit stiff. And then that tray that holds the actual dock part that folds out to fit more devices in the future, maybe a redesign where that's a little wider and then maybe it comes with some inserts you could snap in that would make different devices be able to fit or some idea like that. But besides that, I can't really complain about the dock. It's a little pricier at that $110 mark, but from my use here and from working properly with all the devices, if you're looking for a good built quality dock to take around with you and use with either one or multiple devices, this is a good option to take a look at. Anyways, guys, as always, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.